All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and this is the daytime demo of my GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Now, for you tech spec guys, right now I have it strapped to my head with the head strap mount. Um, the frame rate and everything is uh, 1080p uh, super wide, uh, 60 frames per second. However, the one difference between this and the nighttime demo is that I decided to turn ProTune off just because I read that it actually mutes the colors and everything so that way you can edit your uh, video and post a lot better. So just for the sake of a demo, a no frills, no gimmick demo, um, I decided to turn it off so you guys get a nice vivid look. And here's my current ride, a nice Hummer bicycle. So it's my zero emissions Hummer. Suck it hippies. Let's go for a ride. But before we go, I gotta show you something. This is one of my favorite vending machines because a lot of the stuff in it is way cheaper than uh, anywhere else. So as you can see, um, I can get like Cokes, like full bottles of Coke and Sprite and stuff for like 130 yen versus uh, 160 yen. Time is recording. I can get nice hot coffee, which normally costs about 120 yen for 100 yen. And then the bigger ones for 110 yen. So yeah love this vending machine good stuff all right moving on so yeah I'm also controlling uh, this versus with the uh, GoPro app but since I'm riding my bike I uh, obviously I'm not looking at the uh, the monitor so we'll see how this goes Missed it. Not in. All right, so. So at 1600 or 4 o'clock p.m. regular time, um, you hear this music played. It's really nice and beautiful. So look at the nice uh, island over there, Sarashima Island, whilst the music plays probably get out of this dude's way because he's like right behind me. Alright, so I um, just had to make a little pit stop. Um, it's because there's someone backing up and I was kind of in their way. So, um, I'm going to get going here for the neighborhood tour. Yeah, sorry about earlier. Um, had some technical difficulties with the GoPro app. It lost connectivity there for a second and I had to check to see if... Uh, if the thing was even on so yeah which it was <laughs> so it never stopped recording even when it lost connectivity so that's that's nice to know yep very sunny day outside so you guys have already seen this part for the nighttime demo so now we're going to show you the uh the right side so we're going to do a little tour of uh, the local uh, department stores and whatnot. I'm also looking into making a really interesting video where I tour a, uh, a market here in Japan and uh, get to show you guys a lot of the cool uh, fish and stuff that they have at the market. So I think that'd be cool. Make sure this thing's on right. There. All right, cool. I'm just wondering how this is going to turn out. I've seen a lot of really good GoPro videos on bikes. And so I want to see how the head strap mount turns out versus uh, the chesty mount. But right now I'm using the head strap mount. It seems to be up a bit higher. But it's mostly for me, it's about stabilization. Which, you know, on a bicycle will reveal a lot of flaws in stabilization. And, uh,. You guys haven't noticed there is a very slight breeze so apologies for uh, the wind noise and uh, all that stuff but you know you guys are probably used to that sort of thing by now now at the time of this recording it is currently Christmas Eve in Japan now, yesterday was my duty day which was also uh, the Emperor's birthday here in Japan. 
turned 81 today or yesterday so that's pretty cool he also shares the same birthday as my dad which is pretty interesting here's a uh not a fish market but just like a storage place always smells like fish i think it's where they could be shipping them out i'm not really sure but i always see them real active in the mornings when i go to work Here's a nice little eating spot. So, yeah. <laughs> so one of the interesting things about this area of Japan is they also have palm trees here. Which I haven't really seen anywhere else unless they're like in the islands or something like that, Okinawa or whatever. So. Yeah. Alright, so over here is, uh, it looks like Avenue, like A V E for Avenue, but it's pronounced Ave. And it's a big grocery store. You can get stuff for like really cheap out here, like sodas and, you know, actual grocery groceries too it's pretty nice but like usually when I come home it's closed so yeah <laughs> I love these guys hi take it they're freaking awesome I always say hi to them whenever I go past dog <laughs> Speaking of dog, there's two of them right here. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, Ave is a nice grocery store. Coming up here is another big, uh, well, it's like a all-in-one, you know, one-stop shopping kind of place. It's basically the equivalent of like a Japanese Walmart or something. There's Sarshim Island, way out there. Can you guys see it? Cool. So bright out. It's like a little past uh, 16 or 4 p.m. for you non-military types. So, yeah. yeah. As you guys can see up in the top there, a place called Livin. That's uh, basically the Japanese Walmart. And fun fact, Walmart actually owns Livin. So they basically, instead of having Walmarts out here in Japan, this is a nice little, uh, kind of like a, a, a house showing place. They show like demo houses and whatnot. So, yeah. This place right here, Livin. It's basically like a one-stop shop. You got grocery stores on one side, then like actual goods on the other, you know, like sporting goods. Tents, anything and everything. I can uh, get all kinds of stuff here. They have like a KFC and a Mr. Donut, which is like the uh, Japanese Dunkin' Donuts. Pretty good too. Sairi, Sazaria is uh, a good place to get pizza. I guess that would be like the Japanese CC's. Hi, mom. <laughs> this place right over here is called Homes where it's basically like the Japanese Lowe's. It kind of looks like it too, huh? So you can get all kinds of like uh, <clears throat> do-it-yourself stuff. You can get furniture and all, all kinds of stuff here. And off in the distance, the pachinko spot. <laughs> or slot, sorry. <clears throat> this is a nice little park right here. You often see kids and adults running around like right here. Just kind of doing their thing. And then over here, um, this building's actually pretty new. I've never went in it before, but uh, they have a Toys R Us and a Babies R Us too. So that's pretty cool. And just all kinds of stuff from just kind of looking in. And off in the distance, you can see Kojima. Which actually, what the heck, we'll go to it. 
I'm not gonna go inside, but I'll just buzz by it so you guys can see it. Uh, so, and also, forgot to mention the home store also has a Uniqlo, which is uh, a famous uh, retailer for clothes here in Japan and uh, stuff like that. Here's another restaurant, I'm not sure what it has. I think like Yakitori or something. Yakiniku. Yakiniku. <laughs> I learned that from my last video. Yakiniku for beef, Yakitori for chicken. So yeah. <laughs> Haters gonna hate it. Anywho, this place right here, Kojima, big camera. Friggin' amazing place. If you're a photographer or like to you know, get into making pictures, taking videos, this is like your heaven right here. You don't have to go all the way out to Akiba to enjoy something like this. Fucking outstanding. Oh, and there's a 7-Eleven over there too. So, yeah, while we're waiting, oh, here we go. No need to wait. No need to pause the Oz. Savor the flavor. Here we go. Yeah. Didn't know you're getting. You thought you weren't getting freestyle rap in this video. Much mistake, Jake. Yeah, there's more uh, convenience stores with Lawson's, Cannon store, and everyone there before. Uh, up here is a car dealership for Daihatsu. It uh, has a bunch of local brands. Which I guess is the Daihatsu brand. And some shapes you might recognize. And some you might not. Ooh. Ah. Good job, guy. Anywho. So, jotting over. I uh, got some gas stations over here. You got any any of us? One of my favorite, Dr. Drive. They call me Dr. Drive. Oh shit. This video is gonna get flagged. Sorry, bros. Anywho. <laughs> Salon, like a kids center. It's pretty cool stuff. I got that uh, new song by. Uh, it's not by Bar Bruno Mars, but he's on it. Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk gonna give it to you. Uptown Funk gonna give it to you. Yeah, this video's gonna get hell flagged. Oh, oh, this is one of my favorite restaurants. It's Moss Burger, but it's like in my neighborhood. And it's really small and it's usually not super busy. It's awesome. Merry Oxmas, Xmas. Fuck that up. Good job, Andy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, let's dip down here for a sec. Then we'll continue on. So, here's like an old store with some old ads. I guess that's for a calcium energy drink called CA. Which uh, is kind of funny considering what division I'm in. But anywho, uh, here's an old vending machine. It's been out of service for some time. It's uh, <laughs> got some pretty interesting drinks, including some favorites that you might know uh, if you're a fan of Wanda coffee like I am. You got your wonderful blend, your cafe au lait, which is like a light coffee, stuff like that. Smooth taste, never had that. One to black, black coffee. They have uh, Asahi is a, a famous uh, drink manufacturer. They're most famous for their beers and stuff, but they also make regular drinks too, including I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is either. They got some kind of vegetable thing, water, Concept Sun. I don't know what that is. Tiara, which looks like some kind of uh, lemony thing. Mitsuya Cider, personal favorite. Mitsuya Grape, I've had that. That's pretty good too. Don't know what that is. Power Vita. Uh, I think they changed the name to Deca Vita. That's really good. I had that before. And uh, the other stuff I've never had. So, interesting stuff. Uh, Alright, let's turn around here so we can keep on going. I just wanted to go down a little side street to show you this guy's this stuff. That stuff too. But um, yeah, let's uh, keep it rolling. Okay. 
Okay. I think we'll get back on the main stretch here so I can show you guys more of uh, downtown Yokosuka and whatnot while it's still light out. <laughs> this might turn into a daytime slash nighttime vlog. There's a police station. You can tell by the siren up there. Or the light. Is a flashing light a siren? Is a siren the noise? Or is it the light? What do you guys think? Oh yeah. There's lots of bridges everywhere. Alright. It's very interesting. Cake market, huh? I am down for that Christmas cake. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, one of the big things out here in Japan for Christmas is getting Kentucky Fried Chicken due to an ad campaign that happened back in the 70s. So like everybody goes and gets Kentucky Fried Chicken for Christmas. So I went to my local KFC thinking, oh shit, the line's going to be super long for Christmas Eve. <laughs> they really weren't. I got my thing in like five minutes tops. The one lady was kind of staring at me funny like, eh. She wanted to say something. I'm like, but I thought she wanted to take my order, but it's like, no, nah, I already, already have my order. See, receipt. But I guess she was gonna give me my stuff. So that's that's cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can dip over here in a sec. I don't know. I kind of like this. It's part of the neighborhood. I don't normally go out this this way, but it's pretty interesting. Oh. Salon de Cotton. Yeah. It's an old looking building. It's like a temple or old house or something. It's cool. Alright. Oh no, there's no more road. Ah, over here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take a little detour. Oh, snap. Where have I gone into? Le Chateau de Pain. Oh snap. What have I gotten myself into? Ooh. It's across the street. I guess they're turning. Okay, cool. Down. Ah. This is good. So I get to show you guys uh, this really cool electronics store, Yamada. It was, uh, they moved out to this location. They used to be closer to my place, but they moved. I haven't been to the new location yet, but it looks pretty snazzy. And the old one was pretty cool too. So yeah, there's that. You know, all kinds of looks from kids and shit. <laughs> like, what the hell is that foreigner doing talking to himself with a thing strapped to his head? Eh, been doing this shit for almost 10 years. You get used to it. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, Mercedes. There you go, Roger. There's your, that's your BMW, my bad. They also sell Mercedes. Dr. Drive! I don't know why I did that. Random. All right, cool. Zip on by. Uptown girls gonna give it. Gonna get it. Uptown girls gonna get it. Da 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 da. There's a Honda dealership. Pretty cool. I was thinking about this cool driving game where you bicycle around Japan, but you gotta anticipate it. Hey, soda shop, nice. Mmm, that smells good. So I think we're getting closer to base, which is good. We're not gonna show you guys around base today, maybe later. Not today. Um, right now, ooh, Denny's. I know it looks like the Denny's from back home. 
that's a little bit different. Gulliver for you traveling types. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. I crossed when it was red. I'm a bad, bad boy. <laughs> Cross the sky. Come on over. More hair salons and whatnot. It's kind of cool. Lock and key dealership. Get locks and alarms and stuff. It's pretty cool. taking a picture of that a while back and I'm like what the heck is happy science ah, it's a library of some kind that's interesting see I kind of took the long way but that's okay It's still on my head there. This is some kind of municipality building or something, I'm not sure. City Hall, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it is. See? City Hall. <laughs> and the Okoska Post Office. Where the heck are we? Let's go down this way. Yeah. This looks cool. I've been here before. What is it? Some kind of playground stage thing? That's cool. Oh, it's cool. They dug out like a pit. Yeah. Oh, it's such an awesome. Didn't see her there. My bad. Oh, that's cool. Alrighty. Pretty much in, yeah, pretty much in downtown Yokosuka right now. We're in more of the Japanese side of the house, so. So, not too many corners come out this way. It's got like pachinko places and good eats and whatnot. Hamazushi, that's a good place. And up there. The Akiniku Akaoni, the Red Demon. Love that place. Uh, took a lot of good photos in there too. It's got good imagery. Then Pepper Lunch is another good place to go to. Mr. Donuts. A lot of them around here. Loving their donuts, I guess. Oh. This is uh, Mikasa Shopping Plaza. Uh, it's kind of got like grocery stores and cell phones and just a random hodgepodge of things. Um, I'm going to go over here to the end and then we're going to zip back so I can show you guys everything. This is uh, also colloquially known as Blue Street because you can see like a bunch of blues musicians and there's little blue flecks in the street if you guys notice that. So, yep. This is downtown Yokosuka. It's going to be kind of busy so it's going to be hard to navigate. Super. Or super. I should say. Nice suits. She gave me a suit. Burger King. And yes, they still have the black burger and something else. I don't know what it is. And Chinese restaurant. They're okay. Alright. 
Let's cross the street here. And then we'll go back around. It's gonna get kind of busy. Oh well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of have to fight your way through it. Uh, here's a like a health, not a health food store, kind of like a drug store. I also pick up food there too. And I think it's like a pachinko karaoke spot. Yeah, stationary spot. Tully's Coffee is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. No, it just kind of ends up around this person. And this place, I don't know what it's called, but they got some pretty good uh, beef bowls here. And this place has got some really awesome ramen. They just recently opened up. Oh, Nirvana's is pretty good too. They got really awesome uh, Indian food. Indian food is really big out here in Yokosuka. Because curry is like the city dish. So that's cool. You can smell it too. Oh, and here's a radio station. Blue, 78.5 megahertz, the Shonen. <laughs> You see all kinds of artwork and stuff here too. It's pretty cool. All right, zip on over. Once again, Blue Street. <laughs> see a lot of blues musicians and stuff. Ah, love fish. Sorry, this video is getting a little random. All right, let's check to see if this thing's still on without taking it off my head. How do you do that? Okay, time check. 28 minutes, not bad. Is this sexy guy? All right. Moving on. Ooh, looks like they're setting up for New Year's. They got all the stuff and everything set up. And calendars! Uh, I'll have to come back here later. Anywho. Um, <laughs> uh, Ringer Hut. I've never been here. I guess they got like tentacles or something. Who knows? We'll take a trip to the haunch here in a sec. Um, <clears throat> Jackets. Ooh, I'm fine. Gonna zip around these guys here. Okay. You see all kinds of little clothing stores and knickknack places. This place right here. It's got some cool stuff. Just clocks and whatnot. All right. And they have shell. <laughs> what the shell? But if you're new to Yokosuka and you're looking for a house, plenty of places to go to. And yes, the majority of them do speak English. Some of them's kind of hit or miss, though. Yeah. So this next area I'm going to show you when we get out to the outer tip. Uh, well, we'll get to it here in a sec. This little place out here says ramen. Is uh, commonly known as Red Door Ramen, just because of the red door up there. It's owned by Chinese people, so the ramen's pretty interesting. They have English menus. The staff speaks okay English. Uh, at least we'll be able to get full. There's the base. There's the base. Okay. Zipping forward. We got Honey Bee Cafe. Uh, they got some American style food, you know, burgers and whatnot. So if you're down for that. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> Military and foreigners. Ah. Down. Oh. I think we just passed it now. I think we passed Nishans. That's another good uh, place to go to, it's Nishans. Good Indian food. See all kinds of souvenir shops here. You can get your Yokosuka jacket. Okay. Let's get some patch 
watches and hats and other military memorabilia. Oh, look at the cute doggy! Oh, real estate Ayama! Miss Ashley gave me my awesome place. Yeah, Hotch, also known as the Wita Street. Um, anywho, so I gotta slow down here to show you guys this. Hanmokuya is probably my number one favorite ramen restaurant next to Banya. Fucking awesome tonkatsu ramen. If you ever come out to Yokosuka, come here. Also, this place, Koko Ichibanya. Great curry. Another good favorite. Mikasa Cafe is pretty new, I've never been in here before, so I can't say. Over here is Daiye Mall, which is another good mall. They got a Moss Burger over there, all kinds of stuff. Anywho, where we're going to now is com commonly known as the Haunch, because this is uh, technically known as Hanchol, which is a uh, one of the big neighborhoods out here in Yokosuka. It's, Mostly for like drinking and stuff like that. So you see a lot of bars and they'll start to open up as this becomes nighttime. Yeah, this became a nighttime bar. There's Bamiyan, famous Chinese restaurant. We'll zip on over here and then zip. Actually, now, fuck it. Just go over here. Yep, Bamiyan. And you'll hear some karaoke and stuff going on in the background. The Wita Street. It's Commodore Matthew Perry holding a burger. America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's Tom and Jack. I guess Tom's closed, but Jack's open. Jack's got your back. All right. Surf taco. I've never actually been here before. This is where you can get a lot of cool stuff. I got some shirts and whatnot from here. And then you can get some jackets and things like that. Beat the station. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Ooh, some cool little knickknacks. Uh, Dublin Docks, George's. Snack bar never ever see open. <laughs> some more military flak jacket places. Buffaloes. A lot of people from my ship go to in New York. It's okay. Gold Rush is another popular bar. See a lot of foreigners in there, a lot of sailors and whatnot. And this place, um, I gotta tell you guys about this place because it was in a movie. It was uh, the Beck Mongolian Chop Squad uh, live action movie. There's a scene in here filmed here. You can tell because of the giant. Tetsujin! Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright. Now we'll just zip on over here. Okay. Has like a temple or something. I guess some people messed up. Yeah. Hotel you know you knew Yokosuka. It's a lot of first timers stay and contractors and whatnot. Uh, this place right here, Green Hill, looks a lot like a famous uh, Sonic level, doesn't it? It's another cool bar. Um, they play a lot of good music. Since I don't really come out of here all too often, I don't see uh, usually go to that bar. But uh, yeah, cool people, cool stuff. Or the Yokosuka neighbor. <laughs> the dude was like, what the fuck is he talking on a GoPro? But... So yeah, this is the end song. What's up now? Thinking you guys for tuning in this video, my other stuff. Also gotta thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, check the best of party. Hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks later guys, bye.
dulu. Oh. 